Good afternoon, everyone. This is Clemmy Sanders with Treasure Coast Bullion Group. Um, today's topic is going to be physical metal versus paper metal or ETFs, if you will. Um, physical metal obviously can be bars, bullion, um, rounds, whatever the case may be. That's what physical metal is. You can touch it, you can hold it, you can store it. Um, that's the one side of owning physical metal. But the question I get a lot of is which way should I go? Physical or should I buy a mining company or should I buy ETF? So let's look at that in an instance. The main focal point of today, I want to talk about physical silver and SLV, which is the ETF form of physical silver. Okay. Now, SLV was established back, I believe, April of 2006. Okay. It was a way to help mimic the price movement of silver. OK, now the problem that you're going to see right off the bat is the myth of does it really mimic the price of silver? Let's look at today's price. Today is July 5th of 2023. If you look at today's price of physical silver on the exchange, you'll see that it's at twenty three dollars and thirty three cents. That's the physical price. Now, if you pull up SLV you'll see that today's price on SLV is $21.22. So number one, there's a huge discrepancy of $2 there. So it does not mimic the actual price of the physical commodity, okay? Now, one benefit of physical is that it has intrinsic value. When you buy physical metal, that's what they call real money. When it comes to SLV, it has no intrinsic value. Why? Because it is a paper asset. Now, what about ownership? Okay, when it comes to owning SLV, you're owning shares of a trust. When it comes to physical metal, you own it. You have a title for it. You can also store it. And that's the best part about it. If you Talk about fees because people bring that up a lot. Well, in SLV, I don't pay a lot of fees. Nope. For management, you pay maybe, what, 0.5% annually? All right. But you have no true intrinsic value. So when it comes to the fees for physical, when you store it, yes, it's going to be a little higher. All right. But what are you actually paying for? You're paying for insurance. You're paying for it to be audited. You're paying for it to be liquid. You're paying for it where you can take delivery of it. And God forbid, like we saw in recently, a bank collapse happens. You have intrinsic value or you have a currency. That's the beauty of physical metal. Now, for me, if you ask me, what, why am I buying physical or paper assets in the first place? Physical, you're trying to hedge. You're trying to protect against inflation with a tangible physical asset. With paper, it's still so the dollar denominated. So if you were to see a currency collapse, especially in the fact of the U.S. dollar, you're going to be in a situation where you don't have anything with intrinsic value. So I just wanted to share a little bit about physical versus paper. I just think that it's very important if you're going to invest and you're looking to diversify, the definition of diversification is having assets that do not move in lockstep with one another. So if SLV, the ETF, is a paper-nominated asset, then that's similar to owning Tesla. That's similar to owning Apple because it's all in dollars. So when it comes to physical asset, you want it outside of the banking system. You don't want it all in one umbrella. OK, and that's why you keep that separate from the rest of your portfolio. So I hope you learned something today. I just wanted to share a little bit of light. Please subscribe. I'm going to be coming up with constant content all the time. Uh, if you subscribe and hit the like button, that's going to help my channel grow. Um, until next time, you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Talk soon.